Hey everyone, I'm just showing how um, to post something into your post, um, like a Word document or a chart or something that you've created that you don't necessarily want to put in as an attachment. Okay, so I have a couple of Word documents open here. Um, this first one is uh, like an agenda chart that I just found. And I thought this is good because it's like a table. Um, and tables are hard to create in your blog post, so this would be a good one to show. So I'm in Word right now, so I'm just going to go File, and I'm going to Export. And I want to change the file name. And you'll have all these different choices. Now, don't choose this one because a single file web page doesn't work quite well. There is another one, so if you save as, and then pull this down and look for web page here, okay? This will work better for you, all right? So we're going to save this as um, a web page. I'll save that. All right, so it is on my computer now. Um, then I'm going to open up Word or Word Notepad here. And I want to open that file that I just saved. All right, so there's meeting called by. That's what it was. So I'm going to change this to all files because it's not picking up on just text files. So I want to open up this HTML file here. And this is all the code for creating um, the Word document. Um, so it appears like this. So you will see some of the words that are in here um, translate in here, and that's what all this means. Um, so you don't have to know HTML, but if you understand how it works, it, it kind of like the old, old version of, um, oh God, what was that program called? Um, the, it was WordPerfect, I think. WordPerfect, but when you had to do all the formatting. That's uh, it's going back quite a bit. Anyways, I'm selecting all of the words in there, all the code, and I'm going to copy that. All right. Now I'm just going to minimize what I don't need open and go back to D2L at Queens. And I'm going to go to the course and discussions. All right, and I'm going to post this in course notes because there isn't really anything in there. I don't want to mess anything else up and start a new thread. Okay, so here's the page asking me what do I want to post on my thread. Okay, so um, agenda test. All right, so how do I get that code in here? There's two different ways. We can click on this for the HTML source editor, and I usually like doing this one instead. Insert stuff, enter embedded code, click in there, and paste. So that's pasting all the code that we copied. Next. And you will see here that that is the document with all of the tables, all pre-made. Okay, so I'll insert that. And let me just make this wider so you can see it. So there is that document exactly as I formatted it in Word in my blog post. Okay, so that is one way to do it. So I'll post that. So when anyone opens that to read it, they'll see exactly how I wanted it formatted. Okay, so this time I have a, a document I created, or it's a template actually, uh, that was created in Word. And I saved the file as test flyer just so it's saved there. But I'm gonna share this uh, or export it and change file type and I'm going to change the file type, save as another file type, save as, 
and then it's asking me how I want to save this okay so I have different choices here I want to make it a PDF document okay and I want to save this onto my desktop okay so there it will open up in Acrobat now once it's open in Acrobat let me just minimize this you can see the formatting everything's exactly how I wanted it to appear from my word file okay so I'm gonna go file export to image JPEG okay I'm gonna to go to settings and I changed the quality to maximum and I also changed the pixels to be 96 per inch okay so that I found works best um, if it's smaller it's just might lose quality and if it's too big it gets really large within your posting which you don't want so I'd say okay to that and test flyer image save okay did something wrong there because now it's doing three pages oh no that's right I only want that first page but it did all three pages okay so it exports all three pages for us all right, I'm going back into D2L and I am going to go to the discussion course notes. New thread. Okay, this time I'm not inserting stuff, I'm inserting image. Okay, and it's on my computer, I wanna upload that image so it's this first page that I want to open. All right, so there is, and it, it will ask for you to fill this out, okay? So you have to fill this in. So um, I'm just going to call it test flyer. Otherwise, it won't work. You have to have something in there, okay? So let me make this bigger so you can see. All right, so if I scroll down, you'll see that is the first page of my PDF. Um, and then what I could do here is just, if it's too big, I can always resize it, okay? Because that PDF document had three pages in it, right? So now I can go in, select the additional pages. Each one has to come in individually. All right, and add so this is I'll call it TF2 test flyer 2 okay doesn't matter what I call it as long as I keep it consistent and I'm just going to reduce the size of this one so it fits beside the other one there we go so there's two and then I have one more to put in for the third page upload H3, open, that's all good, add, and TF3, okay, and it's put itself down there because it's too big, so I just need to reduce the size of this one until it goes up beside the others. There we go. And I'll scroll up on that. So you can see how easy this is. Um, and there's all, all three pages now in my posting. 